Today's just been one of them days where things just haven't been kind of going to plan. I tend to wake up this morning and make a big transitional wake up video to uh, put on YouTube, make a nice edit, you know. Woke up at 5.30 and did not have the motivation nor did I care enough to do it. Um, came down here and about to do a wee bit of training here, realised I forgot my shorts. Still going to train anyway, but not ideal. And uh, my GoPro also ran out of battery, so now I have to record everything on the iPhone. Which isn't that big of an inconvenience, but still a bit annoying. Um, but still going to do a bit of training here anyway. Uh, was supposed to have a game tonight, but I'm not able to do both work. So I'm going to do a wee bit of uh, lower body work here today. Usually we'd only do one lower body workout in a week, and you've seen that on Monday or Tuesday. Um, so this is just like a wee extra one, just to make up for the fact I'm not able to get the session in tonight. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go and do it. I don't know why a lot of time, I'm a bit tired. I'm just going to do a couple of wee things and just get it done. So yeah, let's I'm going to go for um, back squat, work up the heavy one rep max, and then we're going to do. Now let me think about this. Work, go three sets of three heavy back squat, um, and then we're going to go push press using the legs, three sets of three, and then swings. We'll do like a thirty on, thirty off for the partner um, for like. 15 minutes or something. This isn't programmed, this is just spur of the moment. Come on. Uh, I've seen this the whole time. It happens a lot whenever people squat, they'll come on the toes. And it leads, you can relax it. Leads to your falling forward and losing a bit of balance and stability, but if you're doing it on the heels, you're going to recruit more of the hamstrings and more of the glutes. So the big powerhouse is for football, and then you're just looking to build a bit of muscle on the legs. It's going to be more effective. So think about pushing through the heels. Also, big tune on. So it's good whenever you're doing a training they switch up the actual type of squad you use. So we do a lot of box squatting um, in here because it's number one, it's a wee bit easier to coach, but then number two, it's uh, slightly safer movement. The back squat's a good one to do as well. We're getting a bit more range of motion on it um, and you're having a bit more stability to work with. Throwing in things like the, uh, the front squat and then even goblet squat and they're all good movements to do. But I think it's an important thing about training is that you're always switching up the, the type of exercise you're doing so you're never getting too used to it. There's a demonstration for you is how you bail out of a lift. I entirely meant to do that just to show you that. Push 90 
75, going for 100. This is a bit more of a push jerk, it's a slightly different exercise. He probably didn't even pick up on that, maybe you don't care, I don't know. But we're going for 100 overhead anyway, that's what the important thing is. push press. First time I put a hundred over the head there with uh, not like a split jerk but uh, yeah happy with that. Strength's going up. It's good. Okay today we're going to chat about Vulcan versus Cullen. How do you do each of them, what it all means, and basically the simple way to do it. So, let's get into it. First of all, Vulcan. Vulcan up first. Vulcan's basically just adding on weight to your body. Um, a lot of people, if you're new in the gym training or maybe new into your sport, adding on a bit of size and a bit of muscle is something that's definitely going to help you. Um, and look, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, it's all about just getting a lot of calories on board. So, it's number one, you're going to be trying to gain weight. That's your goal and that's your target. Um, now along with that weight gain you're going to have some body fat increases so I get a lot of questions a lot of people saying like um, you know I want to bulk up but I don't want to put on any fat like it's going to be really difficult to do that there and what I would suggest is you see for a period of time you either decide I'm going to try and put on a bit of size in the frame or else I'm going to try and get rid of a bit of size um, because it's very difficult to try and do two things at the one time so if you're in that kind of in between where you're looking to maybe put on size but you want to keep a bit of you know, leanness, I would honestly just sort of focus on one idea you're adding on weight or you're keeping yourself lean and then you can revert back if you need to. The obvious way to do that is getting more calories on board. Um, so he really do have to eat like a horse. It's just trying to get as much food in your, your system as possible. If you're young, especially if you're a male too, you know, your metabolism's gonna, metabolism's gonna be really high. So trying to get a ton of food on board has to be your priority. Um, and the best way I would suggest you try and do that is start tracking your food on like MyFitnessPal or any of the other calorie counting apps and try and consistently hit a calorie number each time. Um, because all too often what will happen is people will go and eat, you know, maybe one big meal a day and think they eat a pile of food, but in reality you probably don't over the course of the day. So start tracking your food and consistently hit the calories. And if you do that over a long period of time, you will start to see the benefits from it, but it does take consistency. One way you can kind of easily work out your, your calorie needs, and now this is a very basic kind of formula here, it's not going to be completely foolproof, but it's a starting point. Get your body weight in pounds, times it by 15, and then you're going to times that by 1.25 um, pound number. Now, as I say, it's just a starting point, but it'll give you an idea of where you need to, where you need to be thinking calories-wise for yourself. Um, some tricks that you can use is trying to get your calories through easier ways, like drinking milk, peanut butter, things like that that are quite high in calories are obviously going to help you a lot more um, than if you're trying to eat really good food the whole time. So you probably will have a mix of good food and bad food whenever you're trying to do this kind of bulk instead of that. But um, yeah, big takeaway, eat like a horse, simple as that. So cotton, which is basically weight loss, which is that kind of million dollar question, everybody wants to try and lose weight and people really struggle with it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's all about trying to eat less food 
over the course of a week and trying to exercise a bit more. Um, that's the real simple way to put it. Essentially what we want to be in is being in this calorie deficit, which means we're just eating less calories than what we would usually eat and trying to do that over a consistent period of time. Um, and again, the big way to do that and the best way to do it is to start tracking your food. So I love getting all the clients to use MyFitnessPal um, and then setting the calorie amount. And whenever you have that calorie amount and you're inputting foods into it throughout the day, it number one, makes you more accountable to your, to your eating. Number two, it gives you a bit more of a structure. And number three, it improves your eating habits because you start to have to make, you're starting to have to make uh, food choices. You know, is it worth spending X amount of calories here? Or is it better to leave a few calories for later on in the day? Um, and you know, that's the thing. It, it's never like you can't eat this or you can't eat that or you have to be on this diet or that diet. In my opinion, it's trying to just be consistent and being consistently in this calorie deficit, so eating a wee bit less calories every day, trying to be a wee bit more active and doing that over a long period of time, and that's when results come. It's going to help with just staying active throughout the day, so you can just walk a bit more throughout the day, even if it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes. You'd be surprised the difference it can make, you know, and then trying to get in your gym sessions or, or if it's football or whatever it is. Um, so trying to add in a wee bit of activity throughout the day, or at least every day, it's going to play a massive factor in this year as well. So really, it's, it's two main things. It's being in a calorie deficit consistently and then uh, staying active throughout the day. If you can kind of get those two things in check, you, you will start to lose weight. But the key to it all is doing it consistently. You know, if you don't do it over a consistent period of time, it won't work. That's the basics of it. Those are cliche terms that bulk and cutting. Essentially, it's just cutting on weight and losing weight. But the big thing for both of them, and I said it about a hundred times, there's consistency. I hope that's what helps and I hope it maybe gives you a bit of an idea of how you can start the start adding a bit of size to your frame or maybe trying to do a bit so